Hi friends, welcome to Love Medics. In this video, I am going to explain about the cervical spondylosis. Cervical spondylosis means degenerative condition of cervical bone. It occurs in cervical vertebrae or intervertebral disc. It is due to age related changes. It is the result of wear and tear. Wear and tear means it works long time. So, it causes damage to the cervical bone. This is the most common cause for the cervical spondylosis. Mostly, it occurs in both male and female. But, in male, it develops earlier. Mostly, it affects above 40 age people. Causes aging, non-traumatic weakness, obesity, incorrect posture of body and pressure while sleeping and trauma. These are the common causes for the cervical spondylosis. Pathophysiology Degeneration of disc This is the disc space damage due to aging so it causes osteophyte formation. See here this is the bone formation that is called osteophyte. It causes neck pain and the osteophyte compress the spinal cord so it causes spinal cord compression symptoms. Now clinical feature of the cervical spondylosis. When there is non-nerve compression, it causes neck stiffness, neck pain. This neck pain worsens over time. This pain range from mild to severe and it radiates to shoulder and arms. Head pain also present and this head pain mostly occur in occipital area. When the nerve compression is occur, it causes headache that radiates to back of the head and paresthesia. Paresthesia means numbness. So numbness of the arms, hands and fingers may occur. Examination First, we done the range of motion. Flexion of the head to 50 degree and the extension of the head to 60 degree. And laterally, right side 45 degree and left side 45 degree. Rotate the head to right side and left side. This is 80 degree and 80 degree. So, 160 degree rotation. These are the normal range. In cervical spondylosis, they can't be able to flex the neck and the extension of the neck. It may be painful for the patient and flexibility test also done. That is extension, flexion, right lateral flexion, left lateral flexion, right rotation and left rotation. These are the flexibility tests. Cervical spondylosis people can't be able to flex their heads. In X-ray, the cervical lordosis is also large. Cervical lordosis means the C shape is formed by the cervical bones. That is cervical lordosis. In cervical spondylosis, the cervical lordosis is lost. So, the neck is straight position. That is loss of cervical lordosis. Spurling maneuver. Spurling maneuver means the examiner slightly compress the head of the patient and the patient slightly extend and rotate the head. If no pain is occur, that is negative spurling maneuver. If the pain is severe, that is the positive spurling maneuver test. It indicates the cervical nerve compression. So that causes cervical radiculopathy. Radiculopathy means radiating pain. Hoffman's test. Hoffman test means hold the patient's index finger or middle finger and, and tap over the nail. If it produces the flexion of the thumb finger, it is the positive Hoffman's test. It also indicates the cervical nerve compression. This is the Hoffman's test. If the thumb finger is not flexed, it is a negative Hoffman's test. 
so there is no cervical nerve compression investigation x ray cervical spine ap lateral anterior posterior view and lateral view in lateral view we see the osteophyte formation osteophyte mean bone formation these are the osteophyte formation in x ray these are the intervertebral disc in cervical spondylosis the intervertebral disc is reduced see here this is normal range of disc space and this is the abnormal range this is the narrow of intervertebral disc and ct mri also done this is used to detect the extension of the damage see here the osteophyte that compress the cervical nerve the ct and mri helps to detect the compression of the cervical nerve and myelogram means the x ray taken after injecting the die that is the myelogram that is also used to see the compression treatment conservative treatment for mild cases first we should settle the pain nsaids are given for the pain ibuprofen or diclo or ketorolac they are the pain medication for cervical spondylosis and physiotherapy also done exercise to stretch and strengthen the shoulder muscle heart fermentation and we should maintain the proper neck position during sleep we should not sleep and two or three pillows if there is any fracture in the cervical bone we should give the neck brace for the cervical bone this is the cervical collar if stiffness in the neck we should give the traction to the neck in severe case first we should hospitalize the patient and bed rest we should give the pain medication narcotic medication and muscle relaxants are given methocarbamol cyclobenzaprine are also given injection corticosteroid with local anesthesia in the vertebral joint see here in vertebral joint we give the injection it helps to relieve the pain surgery if excessive pain and muscle weakness is present we should done the surgery that is the decompression surgery one is laminectomy this is the lamina of cervical bone remove the lamina that is the laminectomy and fusion surgery fusion surgery means we fuse the two vertebrae so the compression is reduced cervical disc replacement this is the normal cervical disc this is the artificial disc differential diagnosis the neck pain also occur in infection of the cervical bone and tumor of the cervical bone and cervical disc prolapse now overview of the cervical spondylosis this is the degenerative condition of cervical bone it is due to aging non traumatic weakness trauma pressure while sleeping and pathophysiology is degeneration of disc that causes reduction of disc space that causes neck pain and osteophyte formation also occur so that osteophytes compress the nerve so it causes signs of cord compression symptoms of cervical spondylosis are neck stiffness neck pain numbness tingling and muscle weakness investigation or x ray that is cervical spine ap and later that is enough and ct mri also done and myelogram also done treatment for cervical spondylosis is first pain medication physiotherapy muscle relaxant brace and surgery these are the treatment question time x ray finding of cervical spondylosis is narrowing of intervertebral disc and osteophyte formation which is the muscle relaxant methocarbamol or omeprazole
beta carbamol is a muscle relaxant. Surgery for cervical spondylosis is tracheostomy or laminectomy. Laminectomy. Thanks for watching.